We are all holding on to our cars just a bit longer these days. The average age of a vehicle is at a record high 12 and a half years. Finance professor Don Ricardo joins us live with advice on when to fix and when to ditch your older car. Thanks for being with us, Dan. What's up, John? How you doing? You know, we were just talking about our cars. I've got about 175,000 miles on mine. It's only a 2016. But why are drivers, do you think, holding on to these vehicles longer? That's com you're commuting to Venus every day. You're like, man, I've got a billion miles on my car like as well, that. which is about 15 years old. Look, there's no surprise those new vehicles are crazy expensive. The average price, 46 grand. Uh, interest rates now on a new car are over 7%, high insurance costs. But some good news, um, better quality. Just like your vehicle, John, my vehicle, as long as you maintain them, newer vehicles can last easily 200,000 miles or more, but you got to maintain them. Yeah, got to get those oil changes on schedule. Yep. What is the downside, though, to holding a vehicle longer? A car is a depreciating asset. No matter how you look at it, that first and most expensive drive home from the dealership, right? And then it just goes downhill from there. So the longer you hold it, the less it's worth. And repairs, maintenance, you know, the longer you hold that vehicle, the more you're going to spend on repairs and maintenance. That's inevitable. And you're going to miss out on the latest, you know, technology and safety stuff, the safety features, right? My wife's car, for example, is new, and she, it, it drives itself, for crying out loud. I still have to use a key in my car. Imagine that. It's like the Stone Ages. So if you're, if you're really into that new tech and new safety features, you're not going to get it with your 15-year-old truck. That's right. But we're keeping these cars longer. So the, the basic yeah. question here to end all this, Dan, is how do you get the most out of your vehicle right now? Well, you said it, maintain it properly, oil changes, rotations, whatever the manual calls for. Consider an extended warranty through the manufacturer. They're the ones I prefer. Find a trusted mechanic. May not be the cheapest mechanic, but the one you trust, that's gold dust. And start a little monthly car fund. Instead of a payment, you put a little money away each month so that when you do have to replace that vehicle, you've got some cash. And finally, my favorite, here you go. It's called the 10% rule. If the repairs on your vehicle are 10% or more than the value of your vehicle, that's the time, John, to start thinking about, do I get rid of it or do I put some money into this thing? All right, you may have just answered my question about my vehicle for me right there. I think it may be, there you time. Go. It may be time to think about a new car. All right, finance professor Dan Ricardo, thanks so much for being with us today. All right, brother, see you next week. All right, see you.